welcome. Welcome. Please. Welcome. Welcome. Remain seated. Welcome. 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 Stay calm. Welcome. And if you can. So I was here at Nahun Beach um, two weeks ago doing an amazing, amazing photo shoot with Snalo. Uh, check it out and I'll share the pictures. And while I was here, I was like, oh man, like there's so many things to take pictures of and I didn't get a chance to do that. So I told myself the first chance I get, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm here hoping to get some of the pictures I didn't and also, this is pretty much the only beach in, in, in East London, I think, where you can get a peek of sort of the beachfront and some of the, the marshes and a bit of sunset. Otherwise, the sunsets in the west, and this is obviously the east coast, so you don't really get that beautiful sunset over the water like you'd get in Cape Town, but you can get something really close to that. And the plan was to do that Oh, and like, the one thing I had to learn very quickly is, I don't know if you can see behind me, <laughs> there are like so many people in our cars, and they're like, what is this boy doing? He's not even dressed for the beach, like he's wearing sneakers, like what is he doing? Right, and I think that is something you have to learn very quickly, that you want to put out content. When you watch other YouTubers, you're like, oh man, that is the kind of content I want to put out and they are not afraid to publicly document any kind of content they feel is going to positively impact what they're trying to convey and as a content creator you really need to get over that hurdle for me it's still like a learning process i have to think and suck myself up i had to play my music and get myself in that zone and then i had to go out like dude you gotta do it because if you don't in the evening or days to follow you're going to be watching other youtubers and thinking oh man my content would have been as dope had i not been afraid of taking out my camera and then just start shooting so that's why i think i might have bombed in terms of getting that sunset shot but you know all hope is not lost i'm still out this is very beautiful it's a very beautiful place This is our shoot for the day. Um, yeah, so POV, I'm gonna take you through it. I am shooting on the X-H1 and the 35mm F2. Um, the audio might be a bit sucky, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's just really windy, but look, I hope you enjoy, and yeah, so I'll share the pictures as soon as I'm done. Yeah. So this is where I think we should shoot from here. Okay. We're walking down because this is a perfect corner for the view without the people. True.
So, look, I'll be honest, my plan didn't go as I had imagined. Um, I would have loved to be filming this somewhere else, but it didn't quite work out. And, and I'm okay with that because today's episode, to be honest, was me really just saying and saying to myself and getting out of my shell and saying, look, um, you have to have to put out content. Uh, you can't wait for such a thing as perfect timing. Um, the conditions won't always be favorable and like today I, I knew I had a project that I had worked on and I needed to get it out but I was just delaying and delaying and giving myself all these excuses which also makes it difficult to move on to the next project because you always feel like there's something you just didn't finish right and so with that being said um, I think what I would like to share with um, the viewers is that look um, if you always want to strive for perfect, you'll struggle because it really is elusive. Um, the biggest achievement is finishing. Um, if you don't finish, you'll always have it in the back of your head that there's something that's lingering, there's something that you're owing because you started, you gave it a bit of your energy and that is a waste if you don't finish. So you owe that project a finish line because you started something and you don't want to have that hanging over your head. And the minute you take that box, it just pumps you up and hypes you up for the next project. So there is that power in finishing a project. And, and I think that's the message I wanted to relay and say, look guys, if you're struggling just like me, where you start out strong and somewhere uh, the energy fizzles out because you lose that motivation, be motivated in the fact that finishing gives power. The ability and the knowledge that you started something and you finished it, is enough power in itself and I am hoping that that is something you guys can take you know I mean look at this view look at this view this is this is just crazy thank you for hanging out long enough to get to the end of it and hear my cliche motivational speech um, show that that's that's unique you've probably never heard that before to always finish I know that is profound it is deep and take it with you yeah take, take it with you but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll definitely be more consistent and try not to delay and, and, you know, chase this elusive perfection that doesn't exist. I am a student of what I'm doing and I will die a student. And if you understand something about always growing, you know that whatever field you're in, you will die a student. And the minute you stop learning, you should probably jump off that boat. So because of that, there is no such thing as perfect. So allow yourself to finish allow yourself to be good, allow yourself to be better, allow yourself to be amazing, allow yourself to flop sometimes and start all over again and go back to the drawing board, but just allow yourself to finish. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about the video, what I can improve on, what I can change. I'll definitely add more dimension to it. Um, and, and yeah, so please, yeah, but the more likes, the more engagement the videos get, the more they're visible and the more a community we build. So we engage with more, we learn more and, and so, sort of that was the objective, to be honest, in the first place. It is to build a community. So thank you so much for watching. You took the time. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about this and I will definitely be putting out a whole lot more content. Shout out to Tato Soul. 10K boy.